Oh, it's you again. Oh, I didn't think you cared. Lady, don't your face ever do nothing but pucker? The only time it looks like a face is when I pucker. <laughs> oh, now, I don't know. I think you've got one of the prettiest faces I ever saw. I just keep looking at you all the time. I declare, it just looks like I can't take my eyes off of it. I'd be looking at you right now if it wasn't buttering my bread. I think you got something there. You know... Boy, it looks like you got something. You sure didn't pucker that time. Here, you take the slice and give me the bite. Your steak, sir. Ma'am, your grape nuts. Kind of late to be shaking hands. Buck Eaton's my name. What's yours? Hey, my master. But don't mind what I say, because I got one of those mushroom personalities. <laughs> On a call, I work at Lacey's basement store. You live at home with your folks, do you? Sure, cutie. But our family ain't all on the surface. We really go deep. I got a brother that came west to be a miner. Because he couldn't find an opening, so he became a cowboy. I'm going west to visit him. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to tell you all that. I guess the hole in the mountain just got me, kid. Yeah, it kind of looks like it got my steak, too. Well, it's about time you were bringing that. If I had nibbled this gentleman's knickknacks, I would have starved. Got yeah, check, miss. I knew you'd bring the check on time. Well, thank you. You ain't much company, but you're generous. That's a fine thing in a man. That's what I always say. <laughs> we're almost in my station. I asked you to bring my coffee early. Now I can't even wait for it to cool. It's gone. Here you are, lady. If you're in a hurry, take mine. It's already saucered and blowed. Oh, yeah! 